Hey guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis Media. Once again, welcome back to another movie review. This time is going to be on a movie that I just saw yesterday, and that is The Tale of Princess Kaguya. Now, this movie came out like five years ago. Um, sadly, the director, Aisao Takahata, uh, passed away last year, so rest in peace. And um, this movie is about where a little princess awakens from a string of bamboo and is raised by these two people. And she grows up like really, really super fast. And she's having a great time with her village. She has friends, but uh, she has to move to a palace uh, with her family after because she's a princess after all and she can't live in a village and uh, what happens is when she goes there she's not as happy uh, because you know uh, there are men out there that just want to marry her for her beauty and stuff and you know through at the times that she has been living there uh, she realizes that you know she probably isn't the princess that she wants to be she just wants to be a happy girl and that's not what's been happening to her a whole lot after she moves now I've heard of this movie but I never actually watched it one thing is that this movie is developed by Studio Ghibli one of my favorite companies of all time I adore their movies from Totoro right there from Kiki's delivery service Spirited Away these guys know how to make movies okay and this is definitely one of their most unconventional ones because the movie doesn't look Studio Ghibli it looks like you know a hand um, a drawing come to life but it looks absolutely spectacular it doesn't have to fully look like every single Studio Ghibli film to look absolutely beautiful to look at I mean um, I saw this movie in English dubbed and the dubbing yeah it isn't very well but you know that's okay because you know if I bought it on blu-ray and just watched the you know the subtitles then you know it would kind of make a difference but you know that doesn't hide the fact that this movie was incredible, okay? I absolutely adore these types of movies, and this one was no different, okay? It's about two and a half hours long, a little less than that. It's one of the longest animated films out there. But, you know, this movie never bored me because I was really intrigued because, you know, I felt bad for this character as, you know, living as a princess, but, you know, growing old, older, I mean, she was born to become a princess, and when she does, you know, things just don't go right for her. But, you know, this movie has such a strong message, especially towards the end. And it's a film, it's a message truly relatable. And I'm not sure if I should spoil since this movie came out five years ago. But uh, I, 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 I came in this movie with an open mind. I, I, I heard of it. I just saw, like, bits and clips of it. I did not know what it was fully about. And when I did find out what it was about... It blew me away. I mean, when it comes to Japanese animated films, I get really excited for them. Like, in January, there's going to be Weathering With You. I really hope there's an event coming over here, because I really want to see that. Because that's from the creators of Your Name, another fantastic Japanese animated film, which I might want to review also. So, yeah. In the English dub, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz uh, plays Princess Kaguya, or Little Bamboo, as, you know, her friends call her. But uh, she was terrific as the voiceover. I mean, sure, you know, it's American voice actors uh, voicing, you know, these Japanese characters. But, you know, uh, that it really didn't bother me because, you know, I, Chloe Grace Moretz is a great actress, as well as James Caan, who's also in this movie, plays her father. But, you know, this movie just, it really spoke to me. And as I was watching the film, it just really fulfilled me. And I want to watch more of Takahata's films, you know, they were older back then, like Only Yesterday and other films, but, you know, I absolutely love this movie, and I feel like this is a film that I just needed to watch. It feels like this is a film that just came out, but it came out in 2013, 2014, but, you know, I'm glad that I finally watched it, and the ending, too, is going to leave me, it left me pretty emotional, probably not as emotional as Grave of the Fireflies, but... It's kind of heartbreaking, but it's also uplifting at the same time. Uh, that doesn't really make sense, but if you haven't seen the film, then I highly recommend checking it out. It's going to be playing Fathom Event for the English subtitled on Wednesday, so if you've never seen it, and if you, if you want to see it on the big screen, definitely check it out. I'm going to give the tale of Princess Kaguya a 5 out of 5. Uh, Japanese animated films just never seem to disappoint me. Sure, there are a couple out there, but, you know, Studio Ghibli, they... 
I really miss those guys. I, I, I really do. But, uh, you know, I just feel like this is a film that I just had to talk about after seeing. So, yeah, I'm glad that I talked about it with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.